I made this bomber jacket, oh, several months ago. And, you know, it was a good first attempt, but got a lot of things wrong on it. Spring is just around the corner, and, well, I've been wanting one of these for a while, so. Let me try this again. Starting out with the back piece, and I traced out the basic sloper. Now with the last one, I added in three quarters of an inch, and that made it just way too wide. So what I'm gonna do is add a quarter inch. And there we go. Draw that in. Bring in the sleeves down by quarter inch as well. Bring them out by a quarter of an inch. And meet this line here. I also made the collar hole way too big, so just a quarter of an inch on either side. Just bring it out ever so slightly. Time for a trim. Looking good, Manny. Actually looks better on you than it does on me. And then I'm making the exact same adjustments to the front, quarter inch all around. Like so, quarter inch. Bring it down, bring this out ever so gently. Draw it all in. Dun, 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 Now, I do want to put a zipper in it, so fold in half, line it up, and half you go. The sleeve, of course, has to be adjusted as well. And so I am going to add in a little bit around the top here to accommodate the extra that I went down. Along the forearm, uh, the sleeves are quite tight as well, so I'm gonna add considerably more, about three quarters, and then along the bottom, oh, just an ever, so, and then along the bottom, just ever so slightly, about a quarter of an inch. Okay, draw that in. Draw this in as well. And then the little odds and end bits, like uh, the pockets. Draw that out. One of the things I want to improve upon on this jacket is this pocket here in the front. I put this big old chunk on top and I don't like the way it looks. So I'm gonna switch to a welt pocket that you sometimes see on the back of dress pants. So the actual welt itself, face it the wrong way, and then the pocket, fold that open. This is gonna be very close to the edge. That means the pocket goes in past. Truthfully, it probably gonna be sideways. Let's go sideways. Yeah, let's go sideways. All right, the welt goes down first. Replace the pins. Now just sew in this rectangle. So now from here, come on. And then right down the center, cut myself a line. So make a Y shape on either end. Stuff this through. Stuff this through. And then top stitch around the outside. Finally, actually surging these two flaps together so it's a real pocket. Blue, 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 blue. <clears throat> it's now time to connect all these various pieces together. So, editing corn, we've been working hard. Give the folks a little music, you know? Yeah. Hey. Look. 
Yeah. Do dirty work like Robin. Crack rock, Rolex, diamonds. Finny flip flops, I'm styling. Yeah. Buy brown Rolex, diamonds. Hey, I do dirty work like Robin. Yeah. Crack rock, Rolex, diamonds. Gunshot, dog box, siren. Well, that was quick. Moving on to the neck, and I'm using this rib knit that I used for the black turtleneck that I made a while back as well. Pin this on, stretch that out, center it. Stretch it all a little bit. And now do the seams along the sides, the elastic on the uh, wrists. And uh, you know, editing corn, why don't we go back to that song? I think uh, I want to hear a bit more of it, okay? Hey, I do dirty work like Robin. Yeah. Finny flip flops, I'm styling. Uh. Body bag, body bag, piling. Yeah. 911, start dialing. Yeah. Do dirty work like Robin. Yeah. Finny flip flops, I'm styling. Hey. See man stuff like Batman. Yeah. Just know that I'm robbing, uh, just know that I'm mobbing, uh, just left church, I'm wildin', uh, poppy round Rolex diamonds, uh, crack rock Rolex diamonds, uh, she don't wanna leave, Along the bottom, this is the last of my rib knit. Two pieces. So I do have to first attach them together, this uh, isn't ideal, but... Gotta be careful, I don't wanna sew the pocket here, so... Slowly but surely. Come on, get under there. Let's just double check. Okay, good. Didn't catch my pocket. Final step, the zipper. And you know how on pants, you have this little back flap here behind the zipper? I'm gonna do the same thing for this jacket. And so, up first, the bottom just a straight stitch and then this gets flipped around this side round it out like so and now this zipper is about oh an inch shorter because I didn't make this coat a little bit longer and I took this off of the old jacket along the bottom like so right to the top Pin, 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 and away I saw. Slow going business this time. Keep the motor running. Don't know why that song came to mind, you know? Attach the zipper on the other side as well. You know what? I think I did a good job with this one. I got the major thing right, which was getting the fit along the torso here. Not too tight, but also not too loose. Same goes for around the forearms. Not too tight, not too loose, and then finally, the neck itself is no longer a giant gaping hole. And I could end the video here, but uh, I think uh, I should focus on some of the details. Like the pockets, again, I like the up and down. However, the top stitching, ooh, a little rough, you know? The actual shape of the pocket, because it goes perfectly out, kind of peeks out on the left side here. Uh, yeah, that's a no-no. And using this heavier fabric for the pockets, with all these different layers, it starts to feel a little bit pouchy, kind of bottom heavy when I wear it. And then the zipper is a little bit short, and as a result, it gets a little messy at the bottom and at the top here. And then finally, along the wrists here, I used a different rib knit here that is quite a bit lighter than the rib knit that I used up here. And so as a result, it uh, bubbles quite a bit. Uh, not a good look, the way it uh, bells and hangs over. And look at me, I now fit in with my Eastern European brethren. I got my own custom tracksuit. Let's pretend this is vodka. Nos gravia. Get up and dance,